السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا مولانا محمد بارك وسلم عليه All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most merciful the most gracious peace and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be with our beloved Habib Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his unique companions his beautiful family members and his all righteous followers till the day of Qiyamah. My respected Imams and lovely brothers, this is the time that we reflect on the great events or great stories of sacrifice that we heard over the past few weeks. In this month of Dhul Hijjah, we all know that we heard the stories of Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam, their commitment and dedication to give up their everything, including their most precious life. For pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now my dear brothers. Just as we heard and reflected on those great sacrifices. We continue remembering. The unique sacrifices of. Our Habib Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his. Grandson Sayyidina Imam Hussein radiallahu anhu and his families. We all know that, my dear brothers, Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had to leave his most beloved city of Mecca in order to bring or take the light of this beautiful Islam to the entire world in order to ensure that he gets full opportunity to develop, to build up, to establish a beautiful message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this planet earth. For that sake, he sacrificed the sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He had to leave his beloved ones behind. Not just Habib, Habibuna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But most of the Sahaba Kiram, they migrated to Medina not just to make their life comfortable. And of course it's not for that. But for having a kind of atmosphere where they can live peacefully preaching the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. While they were sacrificing. By the way, why I'm not why I'm talking about this hijrah at this point in time because our calendar, Islamic calendar is based on the great event of hijrah. Now when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he had to leave Mecca even at that time when the kuffar the enemies had swords and weapons in their hands carrying and surrounded his house with full energy and with full dedication 
to take the life of our Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, that is the moment. You all imagine, you all, we all put ourselves in that position. When our enemies surrounded us, and they are looking for, they are trying their level best to take my life. That is the moment of test for me. I would hate them the maximum. I would do my level best to punish them. I would forget about all my values and morals, principles just to take revenge on them or get rid of them. But our Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even at that moment, when the swords were just above his hand, outside, the enemy is waiting. But the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did not sacrifice he did not sacrifice his Islam, his message, his value. For the past 40 and more years of time, Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had received one beautiful, unique title that none else in the world has received. And that was Al-Ameen. The most trustworthy. And at this point, when the enemies are waiting for killing him, Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not let our Islam down. Instead, he said to Ali radiyallahu anhu, respect the trust, even if it is the trust of the enemies. Return the belongings of the enemies, even if they are after me and my family. Even if they have offered 100 or more camels to take my life and blood. Doesn't matter. What I have to respect is, and be mindful about is, the message that I am teaching the world about the trust, about the honesty, that I have to protect it. The Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he asked Ali radiyallahu anhu, to return all the belongings of the kuffar, the enemies, the killers, the assassins. Give it to them. He could have declined that. He would have said that, no, the policy has changed. They breached. They breached the rules of the law. Therefore, I am not going to give the belongings to them. But the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam assigned his cousin Ali radiyallahu anhu to do the job. Here my dear brothers, we all, every single Muslim in the world has to learn a lesson. No matter what it causes me and you, stand up for the principle. Stand up for the morals and values that our Islam has taught us. Inna Allah ya'murukum an tu'addu al-amanat ila ahliha. Indeed, Allah has ordered. He orders you to return all your trusts to those who have trusted you. Now the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam received that message and verse very late at the time of Fatih Makkah. But before that, his life was teaching that message of keeping the trust, respecting the trust. For us, my dear brothers, especially youths, Especially teenagers, learn to respect the trust of others. So we learn that. Then we now see as part of the hijrah, there's so many amazing lessons to extract, pick from the whole episodes, different sides, different angles of the hijrah or migration of the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Trust is one of them. And trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is another one. Although the kuffar had surrounded, but the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never doubted in the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِلَّا تَنْصُرُوهُ فَقَدْ نَصْرَهُ اللَّهِ Though, O oh people, O oh all worlds, 
even though you failed to help my Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah would help him and has helped him, will continue to help the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If akhrajahu alladheena kafiru thaniyathnayn, when the kuffar chased him away, and he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu, ended up in the cave, that was the moment Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu, do not get worried, do not lose your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we are not two. إِذْ هُمَا فِي الْغَالِ إِذْ يَقُولُ لِصَاحِبِهِ لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا لَا تَحْزَنْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَنَا This is a word that we all need to share to one another. Don't get worried, Allah is with us. Don't get worried, Allah is with us. No matter how many politicians move against us, bring their evil slogans everywhere, fine. But we need to know one, one thing. As long as we live as Muslims, as long as we follow the teachings of the Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لا تحزن إن الله معنا Do not get worried. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.